Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaasha me kripya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. 我们的节目提供多种语言，请看supremastertv.com/schedule。Ranjangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com/schedule.Baramajunamatwafirabiladidimanalogatyurjaziyaratsuprememastertv.com/forward/schedule.Nasha programa pertlagait monoga yazikop. Pajalusta pasmatvidi suprememastertv.com/schedule. Манай нэтрлгүүд олон хэлээр гардаг. Цаашлах хаяг suprememastertv.com төшөөрөөс schedule. Selfishness always make you lose points. Everything that concentrate to try to get things for yourself alone, you lose everything. Whereas if you try to serve other people with love and with unconditional devotion, you gain. Yeah, that's the irony of the universe. Because whenever you offer yourself to other people, in one person, you expand. You understand me? Your energy, your aura expand, at least into that person's area. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit gotsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Russian, Czech, Dutch, English, Finnish, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Nilte utsti ha amar hamasan kaistre. Намайг хичээнгүй гэдэг. Сэтгэл татам Монгол орны булан аймгаас мэдчилж байна. Хаа явсан газраа хайрыг төгөөж байдаг тань Монголын арт өмнө таалархаж байна. Монгол улс нь төв Азийн цээжин доших хурцтай хөдөлж буй улс юм. Эртний түүхийн бичээс Монгол гэдэг нэрийг гурван голын улс хэмээн тайлбарласан байдаг. Энхүү үзэсгэлэнт нутгийн зочлонтгой арт хүмүүс нутаг орон байгаль орчны өнөө хүртэл хөндлөн дээдэл онгон тагшнаар нь хадгалж хамгаасаар иржээ. Монгол улс нь мазала бава тах улан гих мэт Нэг хорсон амттын жинхэнэ байгаль дээрээс нь харах боломжтой цөөн хэд орны нэг юм. Энэ хүн онгон тагшин байглын цасан цагаан өвөл бүтэн ногоон зун хайр дүүрэн хавар үн алгасан намар татагтан зорж ирэх жуулчдын тоо жилээс жилд нэмэгцэр байна. Нүдлжин соёл уламжлалаас нь үүссэн уянлаг сайхан уртын дуу хөөми морин хуу үндэсний баяр наад өнгөвгээ Монгол усыг төсөөлхийн аргагүй билээ. Байсгалтанд үзэгчд та бүх юм дээ. Монгол усын гайхан шигтгаа үзэсгэлэн тавчхан харуулсандаа баяртай байна. Амдрал тань хайр Амар амгалан ийм наримдлаар дүүрэн байх болтугай. Гурт 
гарав жилийн турш төгсгээсэн их багш ханха арын сургалаа дараа даян дэлхийг гэрэлтүүлж байна. Төгсгээсэн их багш тэрээр дотоодын бурхан чанараа нэн дээр болж мэдхийг хүсэж нэгэн насандаа өхөж төрхийн хүртнээс мөнхөж чөлөөлөгтийг ирмэлзэгч хэм бүхэнд арабын бэсэлтийн аргыг уламжилдаг билээ. Арабын аргыг бүхэл гигээсэн их багш нар бэсэлгэн дадуулж ирсэн байдгаас дурдвал Будда Кунд Гуру Нанак Иесус Христ Лао Цу Эзэн Кришна Эзэн Махавира Зүнч Мухаммед тэрээр амглан байг гэд маш олон билээ Тэр бээр хэрэв би дүргэлж бурхныг санаж бусдын төлөө өөрийгөө умртан өгөлжилж орчлон ертөнцийн хуулийг дагаж явах аваас хүний хүрч болох хамгийн дээд төвшөн хүрч энэ дэлхий дээр их зорилгоо үнэхээр ухаарах болно хэмээн хэлсэн байдаг. Их багш чинхаа бол хайр энэрлийн хосгүй амьд үлгэр дуурайл юм. Тэрээр дүрэгсэд байгалийн гамшид төртгсөд орон гэргүй болон тусан чирэгтэй хэм бүхэнд материаллыг болон санхүүгийн тул цаг хайрхан хамт ямар хэлгэж байдаг билээ. Төгсгээсэн их багш чинхаа өнгөрсөн жилүүдэд бурхны эрхэн нандин хүүхдүүдийг хайр нэгүслийх нь яг л даруу багаж байж гамшигт нэрвэгцэн ядрсан хүмүүс болон аливаа сайн үйл зорилсон бүхий санхүүгийн тусламж тайтгаруулалт дэмжлэгтэй эрхэн дээд бурханд гүнээ талхаж байна. Төгсгээсэн их багш чинхаа төрөл бүрийн байгууллагууд хөвдөл мэдээллүүд засгийн газрууд болон хувь хүмүүсээс хайр дэмжлэг хүртэлтийн зэрэгцээ олон шагнал авч байсан юм аа. Жишээ нь 2006 онд Дорн Бахна Нобелийн их тайвны шагнал тооцогдох Гүсийн их тайвны шагнал 1994 онд Бэлхийн оюун санааны үед өгч шагнал 2008 онд Махавир шагнал Америкийн нэгдсэн улсын хүндэд иргэн 2 сарын 22 он болон 10 сарын 25-ны өдрүүдийг төгсгээсэн их багш чинхаа өдөр хэмээн тухагдсан гэх мэт. Хүмүүсийн болон хүстэн сайн сайхны төлөх гайхамшигтай ажил үйлсээрээ өнгөрсөн он жилүүдэд усад олон шагналд өргөжлүүдийг хүртэж байсан юм.
цаг хугацаа оронзаа хүлцээгүйг ус болоод бусад маш олон хүнд итгэл шагналыг гаргаж чадаагүй дээ хүлцэл бичээ. Үзэслэн данд амттай маань жинхэн дуу хаалгаа төгс хийгэрсэн их багш чанхаа хүн төрлөгтөн бүхэл анд амттай гэгэн чанарыг ухааран сэрснээр их дэлхийн маань хүн болоод амт дад жаргалтай эв найртай амьдрах амар тайван гайхалтай бүрэн бүгэн амтлхи болно гэсэн найдраар амар амгалан энэрэнгөө урамлан хоолыг төвэн дэлгэрүүлж байдаг. Бүгэнжийн хандлагыг дэлгэрүүлэх түүний санаачлаг олон төрөл байдгаас турдвал өөр өөр амьдрах үе тарах хуудас хайрын өргөө олон улсын бүгэн ресторан, бүгэн хүнсний бутик түүний компаниуд, бүгэн өслөг идэллийн үйлдвэрлэл, Supreme Master Television, мөн түүнчлэн нөлөө бүхий засгийн газрын болон хэвлэл мэдээллийн удирдагчтай ойр орхин ярилцаж өөр амьсгалын өөрчлөлтийн талаар телевизэн баг хурлуудад оролцдог гэх мэт бидний мэд хэсгээс үл хамаараа түүний бүх хүчин чармайл амттай дээлтэй амьдлын хэм маяг болоод энхүү энэрэнгүү зам мөр хэрхэн дэлхийг уур амьсгалын өөрчлөлт болон гай гамшгуудаас аврахын сацуу ус орнодын хооронд мөнхий инх тайвныг цогцлоож чадахыг дэлхийн нийтэд ойлгуулахад асар их нөлөө үзүүлсээр байгаа билээ. Төсгийгэрсэн их багш чанхаа олон жилийн турш дэлхий даяар Америкаас, Африк хүртэл, Европоос, Номхон далайг хүртэл аялахдаа олон нийтэд болон шав нартаа төрөл бүрийн сүнслэг сэлгүүдээ олон зуун лег зуншиж ярьслага өгсөн байдаг. Өнөөдөр бид тэдгээр ухаарал хайрласан лекцийн нэгийг тавьлуулах хувь тохиолдов. 2005 оны 2 сарын 23 24-нд англ хэл дээр айлцсан ертөнцийн шин тавцанд нэвтрэхүй дөрөн цуврал лекцийн дөрөвдөр хэсэг багш шавин шилцээгээр хүлэн авна. in the, you know highly developed group and messing it up for example if you you love your baby yeah and the professor has nothing against your baby but you cannot bring him into the the, the class of the university he cry he want milk <laughs> he wants sucking thumb he make noise and so how do you concentrate to learn and how your uh, fellow students concentrate to learn do you understand me yes. yeah So in sometimes even if we love a person and she looks good she come to meditation center every day and she do anything you want but that doesn't mean anything the outward appearance is never a quotation for heaven you know heaven knows who is sincere who is not nobody can cheat that so sometimes you don't know even contact person doesn't know who is who because sometimes the person always willing to work because it's is his personality he likes to work or maybe he's a workaholic or he want to join a group to feel important or he has nothing to do at home or he has problem with his wife so he rather be here good excuse or he doesn't have to go home and listen to her blah blah so it mean nothing at all so you have to check yourself whether you sincere here understand me and don't make an outward appearance of a virtuous person because that's sickening eh yeah everybody think you're good but you're not it's bad for you not just bad for other people who misunderstood you but it's really bad for you because people expect you and then you thought you're okay and you stay that way all the time you don't check yourself you don't improve yourself because you think just smiling be friendly and be diligent at the center then everybody think you are saint and you use that to cover up your inner weakness and to cover up your lower level and it's really bad for you because it works it works so you are continuing smiling and working helping you know whenever people know you're working you work so that people think you're working 
or you smiling and be pleasant and people think you're saying. So it works for you and you just keep using that. Do you understand me? Yes. And the more you use this outer uh, mask, the less you are uh, contact with yourself. It, it works for you, why not? You know? and, and you also, after a while, you think you're okay also. And you don't know that you should improve more, sincerely, really, genuinely, uh, inside. Yeah? So appearance really cheat a lot of people and cheat yourself even. So do not do that, eh? Yeah? I am not happy if you come here and prostrate 10,000 times even. I don't care about these things, all right? We don't do this stuff here. I told you meditate, I never told you to prostrate to me, for example. It's not that I'm against it, but I can see who is sincere who is not. Maybe two people do the same thing, but I see that one, okay. I might come and hug her, not because she prostrate, but whatever she does, she's sincere. So whatever you do, make sure that you face yourself, not me, not the person next to you. Face yourself. What am I doing? Huh? What am I doing? Am I correct? Am I really honest, sincere to myself? Am I really improving? You know, face yourself, not me. Eh? I don't care. Even if I scold you, I say, don't do that. But I don't care because it doesn't concern me. But your life is your life. So make a beauty out of it. Eh? Make a beauty out of it. Don't go anywhere and disturb everybody just for your own sake. You know, seeking attention here is just as bad as seeking attention outside. It's all, you know, desire for fame and profit. See, one person sometimes makes trouble, bring the atmosphere down into a lower level, physical level, and it, it, it's all bad. Some of you are not that high, just at the border of the second level. Well, it's still better than second. But watch it, okay? Watch it that you don't just stay there forever and rely on all this mask to survive in this society because I'm not in the society. You understand? I'm not even human. I'm not even born human. I was born outside of the womb. I've never been in my mother's body. I came the second day when the baby is already born. I just borrow the body to come out, to come to, to, to do my job. I have never been in any human's womb. The reason my parents see the light, you know, the whole house was bright on the second night, because I only came then. I didn't come when the baby came out. I wasn't in my mother's womb. That's why I didn't see the light when the body was born, because I wasn't there. I came when everything's all clean and ready and settled down already, and when the angels already make the road clear and everything, and the body is already clean and uh, a little bit away from the mother's energy, and then I came down. It's already suffering enough, not to talk about staying in here for nine months. <laughs> So I'm not even a saint, all right? <laughs> you are the saint. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not human. I'm not least of all Vietnamese. I just happened to take a Vietnamese body. So of course, I was born within the Vietnamese boundary, so I help them, eh? and I respect that country, and I do anything I can to make that country people happy, you know, have a comfortable life. But I'm not Vietnamese, I'm not human even. I just borrow this body. Many of you are also not human, and especially now you're not. But you're already in the human body, that's all, all right? Your soul is free, already gone. A remote control you from upstairs. <laughs> yeah. You can remote control a TV. <laughs> How would you not be able to do it with the sacred, holy human soul? You understand me? We can do anything. We can uh, do anything with any body we want. Suppose even I died tomorrow, I could borrow another body and come back. Yeah? Quickly. It's no big deal. This body is nothing, yeah? Anybody is nothing. We just house it for a while, so we do our purpose. So don't make a big deal out of the appearance even, and nobody cares. <laughs> do you care? Okay, good. Just be honest, sincere, genuine, be natural, okay? I love this. I always know you are there. How can you escape? 
The room is small anyway. Huh? Yeah. The room is small. Can I not know that you are there? You have to be patient, eh? Wait. If it's not important, you just wait. And you're here already and I'm here. I would know what you want, no? It's no need to always push me, no? Yeah, asking for the thing that, oh, please, you didn't do that, Master, you didn't do this, you know? I will do it in own time, in my own time, eh? No pushing, pushing. How would you be able to, to come here if I didn't do anything, right? I even clean the bathroom. I take the garbage out, everything, so that you have room. How would I not do anything for you? I do anything for you, but I don't care. Whatever makes you happy, I do it, yeah? Just don't push me, right? Because there are many people, not just you. The problem with some of you, you come here, you think only for yourself, yeah? You don't even care the person next to you what he wants. You don't even think of anybody, which is good, but it's selfish, <laughs> It depends, it depends. You come here, you concentrate on meditation, on God alone, that is good. That is good. But if you just try to take everything for yourself, the attention from the master, the place of the, the fellow practitioner, get the best and all that, then it's no good. It's a difference between self-centered and selfishness. Ne? Yeah. Self-centered, you centered in yourself, you meditate, that is good. And you don't care about what's happening or the gossiping or the thing that it doesn't concern you, that is correct. But if you're selfish, you want to take everything for yourself, then it's very bad for you. Whatever you come here, you will not get anything. You might lose some point. Yeah? Selfishness always makes you lose points. Everything that concentrates to try to get things for yourself alone, you lose everything. Whereas if you try to serve other people with love and with unconditional devotion, you gain. Yeah, that's the irony of the universe. Because whenever you offer yourself to all the people, in one person, you expand. You understand me? Your energy, your aura expand, at least into that person area. But everything you think of yourself, oh, I need this, I want all this for yourself. Then it's just like this, just this. Yeah? The more, the more you serve, the more you expand, you're bigger. I told you 20 years already. You know, yeah, 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 good, good. Master, oh, you speak so nice. But you don't even understand, you don't even practice what I told you, then it's a waste of time. I don't mean you especially, we're just talking in general, okay? For the people who still have this lingering trouble of selfishness and ego, just drop it. Especially, especially when you come here and you see me already, that's the best already you can get, so just drop everything else. And you come here, it's enough. Even just to look at me, enough. The people outside, the people who don't even practice meditation, if they just look into the Master's eyes once, they get millions of points already. And how much you get, but you've been wasting, wasting, wasting. You understand me? You're wasting it because I give you something, you go out and waste it because it's so easy to get. And you come here and grab for more. The more you grab, the more you lose. This is a very... Uh, paradox law of the universe, but it is like that. You're very fortunate already. Even if I don't see you, I don't talk to you, you had enough already. But because the mind is troubling everybody, so I try to come out again telling you the same stuff, hoping that you know, now that you're already high level and the world is high, you will understand better. Do you understand better? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really love you very much. Who else should I love? I don't have anybody. Yeah? So you have all my love, see? <laughs> Suppose if I have a, somebody I love, then I might share it, but I don't have, so I just give it all to you. Huh? That's just physically speaking. But uh, uh, spiritually, you know, you are like my children. Huh? You are the only one I love. <laughs> But at least you try your best, you improve yourself, and you do whatever you think is good. You really try hard. And I know, I know the, the world is very unkind to you. Many times it gives you trouble, gives you obstacles, even your family members, even the one you think you love, the one that you love, the one that you think you would understand you and closest to you, make trouble all the time. 
So I understand this. And that's why <laughs> I tell you again, again and again, I'm not like angry and I just throw you out because you don't know. I understand. It's very difficult for you to survive in this world spiritually. Because everything tries to take you out of it. No? Just the moment you want to sit, even the thing yesterday come back. <laughs> not like he bugged you yesterday and then it's done. But it comes back to you, and it lasts many days, sometimes the heartache, many weeks, sometimes many months, sometimes many years. So it's not just like somebody hurt you yesterday or last week, and then, okay, I suffer one week, one day, no, no it's coming back to you all the time, stabbing your heart. And you try hard to concentrate here, to think of God, to think positive. It's very difficult, right? So I know that. So just try. <laughs> no, no matter. Yeah, your your effort has borne a fruit. You see, all heaven knows. So all of you have already gone to the third level at least. Ne? So you're safe now. You're free. But the more you meditate, the higher you come. Even sometimes the fifth level person has to come down here if, if he's not perfected. Like sometimes you study something like medicine, eh? But you have not made the thesis, yeah. Right? And then you haven't got the, the title, right? So you have to do more. Understand me? Yeah. Or you're just in the middle of medical term, right? Eh? You have to you're already in there. It's already uh, good that you already accepted in the in the med medical school. Yeah, and you're already uh, very high. But you still continue, no? Until you get doctor degree. Even then you still have to continue because you have to make apprenticeship, you have to practice, yeah? And then medicine new come out all the time. You have to study more and more oh, every day. It never ends. All right? So even if you're on the fifth level already, you still have to meditate. Number one, to improve yourself. Now, because the fifth world is not just like this, eh? You have, oh, zillion things to know. And so the more you practice, the more, the more you meditate, the more knowledge you will gain. Eh? In case you need it in the future, if God chooses you to be a master, you have to know everything. Not just uh, sit and meditate, huh? you have to know everything, you have to even fix the door. <laughs> Demolish the toilet, <laughs> make room out of nothing. Yeah? Understand that? You see, not even master escape. Many masters have died in a very tragic situation. You know, the last one you know, Jesus. Eh? You have to learn all kind of things. You learn how to survive, to teach people, but have to survive also. Otherwise you die in no time. The moment you offer yourself to help other people, to elevate spiritually, that moment Maya already on you. They never leave you alone. So you have to learn even the art of a spy. Zero, zero, 007. <laughs> That's nothing. You have to be zero, zero, 008. A knight. Yeah? Double O nine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to say except repeating what I have told you already with the more emphasizing force. In case you have any question, and you can ask me. If not, then you may meditate again. That's your job. Hmm? Don't tell me that you're already on the third level, Master, elevate the whole world already. What's the point of meditating? Fine, also fine. Fine. Because you're already free. It's no uh, obligation that you should meditate diligently or anything. But you do it to, to make your life better as well, you know? Clear the karma, that the fixed karma that you should pay in this lifetime. If you meditate, it's also a lesson. Yeah? And it helps the world to to be even more elevated eh? and help the universe also to be united together and, you know, balance it out. So not one planet too high and not one planet too low. And then we have war between planets, you know, interplanetary war has been there, used to happen because <coughs> planets were so different in frequencies. Spiritually speaking, the planets were different and they make war with each other. So to have peace, we need to meditate eh? to bring the uh, uh, atmosphere into a peaceful, a peaceful stand. Eh? 
uh, because even if this world is peaceful, <laughs> all the planet are not peaceful, then they will still have war. Not the war in the planet, but interplanetary war. This world has been destroyed before. This world has reached a very high level of uh, scientific success, no? but then because they know too much, but their spiritual side don't develop, so they make war with other planets. Other planets make war with this, and so many things have been destroyed. We used to be more civilized. We're getting back now, now we're getting back. Эх юм үзэгчтэй өнөөдрийн ертөнцийн шин тацанд нэвтрэх үе дөрвөн цаврал лекцийн дөрдгөөр хэсгийг багш шавин шитэлцээгээр хүлэн авч үзсэнд баярлаа. Үргэлжлүүлэн мистер Экхартын номлуудын хэсгээс бурхны татцлын хүч ба бурхны өөрийн харилцаа хоёр цаврлын нэгдүгээр хэсгийг онцлох мэдээний дараа мэдгэн сургаалаар хүлэн авч үзнө. Supreme Master Tilly's the Hamt Bad, Eric Sprute Urslusen, Utsere Utslin Turk Stilton, Hamuk Turstnuter, Hitzargu, Harik Tasurchbach, Portoa Noble viewers, thank you for joining us for today's forum entitled Entering the New Universal Platform for Far Off for on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is selection from Mr. Eckhart's sermons, The Attractive Power of God and Self-Communication of God, part one of two, on Words of Wisdom, right after noteworthy names. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your beautiful hearts ready Want to slow towards all things. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.